I will not demonize immigrants saying they are poison in the blood of our country. I will not separate families. <laughs> I will not ban people because of their faith. Why would he make that statement? I will not ban people based on their faith in the context of the border. Can we not see that God is revealing to us the agenda of the Antichrist? We were told, were we not, that the, uh, that the controversy at the southern border of America is merely, solely, only political. It's not. It's a religious controversy. And some people, cynics of our ministry, would say, don't talk about these things. It's politics. It's not politics only. It's religious. And by the way, the Bible says church and state will unite. Enforce the mark of the beast. Persecute God's people. Is that not politics? State and religion? Church? Come on now. Now watch this. This is prominent church historian, E.J. Wagner. He writes, yes, countering the argument from the president. In no other part of the world is the Roman Catholic Church gaining ground as rapidly as in the United States of America. This is due largely to immigration. That's it. He saw this all the way back in the 1800s. 1903, he saw it and addressed it. What about us in the last days? Blue words. In saying that the presence of Catholics threatens the liberties of this country, it's not meant that they are in themselves worse than other people. Ah, do you see it, friends? The danger lies in the fact that they are not a free people but are bound in slavish obedience to the priests who are themselves the puppets of the Pope. Does that make sense? Another prominent church historian, Uriah Smith writes, Roman Catholicism, which has grown strong through immigration. Stop it right there. This is the Catholicization of America. How will Popery grow strong in America? Through immigration. The world-renowned church historian saw that all the way back in the 1890s. America is transforming through immigration controversy. 